Do you know the term junk business? It's a very strange business. What is a jimiya? A jimiya's job is to pick up money dropped by others. Yama-san's workplace is in the Shibuya station area. Holding onto a wheelbarrow, he watches the ground from morning till night. In Japanese, jimiya means a person who only looks at the ground. When he finds a coin, he uses a flashlight bought at a hundred yen shop and a handmade tool made of bent wire to pick it up. A former construction worker, 10 years ago, he fell from a scaffold and hurt his lower back. Since then, he has been unable to walk without his wheelbarrow. He received public assistance for a while, but was cut off and started life as Jimiya. He lives a life of solitude, watching only the ground. Money is often found in drain sewers in front of vending machines. He once found a 10,000 yen bill in a ditch. Who would throw away that much money? This 100 yen coin had turned black in the mud. At times, you can find melted and diluted coins. They are polished so that they can be used at a store. A man who knows the true value of a one yen coin. He knows because he picked it up. Nighttime is Yamasan's time to earn money. He crouches in the dark, searching for coins. After working around the clock, he has found about 2,800 yen. Recently, he has seen an increase in the number of competitors. 6.40 a.m. A long day is over. Yamasan returns to his little blue tent by the side of the road. His home for six years now. He rests his tired body in the tent. Tomorrow, Yamasan will go back to watching the ground again. A masked man standing in front of Shibuya station. His name is Oruka, 35 years old. <laughs> he works on the street corner for three hours every night from 9 p.m. till midnight. He earns at most 2,000 yen a night. The money he earns is spent on smoking and drinking. Yoyogi Park, not far from Shibuya Station. Here, homeless people live in tents. There are about 230 of them. Oruka is one of them. Oruka was born in Hokkaido. He started performing on the streets of Sapporo when he was 22 years old. For the past 13 years, he has been living off the money he earns on the streets. At 9 p.m., he wears a mask and waits for an audience, like every day. <laughs> On Valentine's Day, he receives chocolates from the audience. Valentine's 
Earnings are good. And on a night like this, the drinks are good. It's been 13 years since he started living as a homeless in Sapporo. This morning, a notice from the Tokyo Metropolitan Government was posted. It said, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government will rent you a private apartment for 3,000 yen per month for two years. In exchange, please stop living on the streets and find a job. However inexpensive the rent may be, he cannot cover the bills for electricity and water with his current income. After all these years being homeless, he doubts he can find an ordinary job. April 2005, when the cherry blossoms in full bloom were scattered by rain, Oruka left Yoyogi Park. After leaving Tokyo, Oruka headed for Sapporo. After 32 hours of travel, Oruka arrived at Sapporo Station. Oruka suddenly started running. <laughs> the city had completely changed. The underground mall was renovated, and there were no homeless people anywhere. After six hours of walking around, he finally settled down on a bench in a park with snow still on the ground. He waits here until nightfall. There is no point in coming back to Sapporo if he doesn't make some money tonight. Writing on a donation bag. It moves when you put money in it. Every penny is important. Oruka is desperate. Sapporo, after seven years, the city has changed. What about the people? Half an hour later, a group of people timidly approach. <laughs> he made almost 2,000 yen that night. A sigh of relief. He bought some drinks and snacks and headed to bed. Tonight's lodging was the bus terminal. A little while after, 
オルカ could no longer be seen at the bus terminal or the park bench covered in snow. オルカ is still alive, living his life somewhere. <音楽>